Today is June 22nd. Pastor is saying to us, increasing in strength and glory. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Acts chapter 9 verse 22. But Saul increased the more in strength and confounded the Jews which dwelt at Damascus, proving that this is very Christ. Years ago, while I was having a lot of opposition, I set my face like a flint and focused on something God had told me. He said, Be courageous, I will not fail you, and I will not forsake you. It was an instruction from God. Therefore, it made no difference who was against me or what was happening around me. I couldn't be bothered. There wasn't going to be any fear. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, I was endued with courage and I've been ever since. When God tells you to be courageous, it's because he knows there's troubles out there. He knows some things will try to frighten you, discourage you and dissuade you. So he says, be courageous. I made up my mind that I was going to do what God said. I was going to be very courageous. Our theme verse says, Saul increased the more in strength. To increase in strength means that the Lord enabled him. The Greek actually expresses it as to be made strong. He was increased in strength. This is an inner strength. He was empowered from within to be able to accomplish more. This is what the Lord does for his children. He strengthens you from within. As you increase in strength, you increase in glory. This is what has happened with the gospel of Jesus Christ in these last days. It has increased in strength and it has increased in glory. We're in a special time in the world today with rhapsody of realities, reaching billions of people in their native language. Millions of ministries are partying together with us for the common goal of taking the gospel to the ends of the earth. These aren't the kinds of things anyone could have planned. They are happening by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. That grace is at work in you today to accomplish more than you've ever done for the Lord. You won't be afraid. You won't falter. You'll rise up to the occasion and win because you are empowered from within. Hallelujah. Please say this prayer with me. Dear Father, thank you for your supernatural grace that's at work in me. I'm strengthened and energized for increased productivity and greater effectiveness by your spirit today. I can do all things and change the circumstances of my life to conform to your perfect will for me through your spirit that's at work in me mightily. Hallelujah. For further study, please read Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. Colossians chapter 1 verse 29 of the Amplified Classic and Acts chapter 18 verses 9 to 10 and Joshua chapter 1 verse 7. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read Acts chapter 10 verses 1 to 23 and Ezra chapters 4 to 6. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read 2 Corinthians chapter 7 verses 9 to 16 and Isaiah chapter 9. Rhapsody of reality